Hello, and welcome to Chief Architect Workshop. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Okay, today we're going to start the Easy Peasy series for beginners on uh, some real basic stuff for Chief Architect newbies. And we'll start out with the wall menu. What happens when we hit drop down menu? What happens here? Wall. Straight to your walls. Walls always go counterclockwise. You watch the first tutorial. You know that the wall goes counterclockwise. Build a wall. Straight exterior wall. Start here. Goes there. Down here. And turn the corner there. And then you got a wall. And sort. See that uh, this is. Um, is an exterior wall which we've defined in our menu. We've changed this wall type to a uh, Freedom CMU with a two-inch interior wall, which is the City of Chicago deal. Let's take a look at what that really looks like. Uh, four inches of Facebook on the outside, eight inches of block, one and a half inches of furring, half inch drywall. That's the wall we defined. We went into our preferences and we set this as our preferred exterior wall as our preferences. We go to our edit menu, edit, default settings is what we were looking for. We're looking for what are our wall defaults, walls, exterior wall, edit, our exterior wall default, and we wanted the wall types and we pop this guy in instead of all these other guys. We said no, we want that guy as our default. So from here on out, whenever we draw our exterior walls, it creates this one when we're doing City of Chicago bungalow deal. So that's the wall. Done. Uh, let's take a quick peek at another one. Wall curved. There's a curved wall. And there's a generating and how do you control a curved wall? Well, what you can do is you click here. Typically, you want to create the out, the foundation radius. So you want to set the out, outside surface, not to the main layer, which is your structural layer definition, uh, where the structure lines up is your main layer. Uh, but let's go to the outer surface. Uh, we want to snap to the arch center. And let's say we want a radius of 4 feet. So type in four feet, that's our radius, and the wall now snaps to a four foot radius. There it is doing its business. Now we have a four foot radius, and we can control that, that site geometry with some lines uh, so we can place it where we want, but maybe we'll do that in a separate video. Let's stick to the pull down menu. Uh, build wall, uh, straight interior wall. Again, we've defined it. In this case, it is a new wall. So when we click on it, that new wall is wall types. It's new. And what is it? Basically, we took a three and a half inch wall and we colored it blue to make it new, copied it with the copy, and said, hey man, that's new. Now I know it's new and what's old. And I can draw it like that's old. Yeah, what was that? Oh, they're old. I put a hatch mark for old. No, 3D model. What the heck? Don't worry about that. Um, hello. Lost control of the cursor here. All right. Next, build wall. Uh, foundation wall. Foundation wall. Let's draw the foundation wall. Oh, it keeps on generating this, the 3D model, it's, it's generating over on this split screen. It's going, man, i got to draw it over here. Give me some time, buddy. And there it is. There's the foundation wall. Build wall. Okay, slab. Pony wall. It's a little bit more advanced. Uh, let's go in this direction, otherwise you won't see the brick in the 3D. 
and we really put a little pony wall on that side. And what that is, and that, and the edit preferences dialog box is the uh, half inch, five and a half inch wall, four inch brick ledge of siding there. That's uh, that's the pony wall. We defined it as our preferred, as our preferences if we want to build a pony wall. And we can switch that to whatever we need to do. Build wall. Not the ponies, straight half wall, curve wall, it's pretty much obvious. Let's let's go, let's build. Build wall, straight half wall. What does that look like? Say we put a half wall right there. Looks like that. Hmm, half wall. Oh, we made an existing wall, it looks like. We defined that wall as existing. So let's take a look at what that really is. All right. Oh, we need to do a railing. So we put a railing on top of it. And uh, there's all sorts of... What I really like is the, the, the wall cap. Uh, Three-quarter inch wall cap on that. Here's the full width. Um, and uh, wheel style. Solid. I'm going to make it... I put a balustrade, etc. Um, more pipe. Yeah, we just defined that. Remember, the cross hatches are existing interior. We switch that to a, a hatch and dry, uh, wall on that side. That's our half wall. And it's sitting inside that that guy. Can you only see it? No, I can't even see it. It's there though. Trust me. Okay. Build wall. Uh, curve, half wall, same thing. Room divider, I never play with this stuff. I never play with the hatch. I never play with the wall material region. But break wall is good. A lot of things we can do with break wall. Uh, let's, for example, uh, let's say we want to break this wall. Let's break it. Go to our break tool. We can take it from that menu or the pull down. And we break that wall, which is defined as something that's also generating it over there. Yeah, well, generate, generate. Got a lot of data on there. That's why it's taking a little bit of time. It's generating four floors of data. So now you can see the break line. And what we can do is, say we go to this side, and we'll say this part of the wall, we want to do something else with it. We're going to butt up a different wall type. We're going to change the wall type. And let's say we make an interior interior old wall gets butted up next to it, like that. And we define the different wall types in our wall menu. We'll cover that just shortly as we wait for the 3Ds to generate. Right there, hello, there it is. So our break tool now has let us change that wall. There it is there. Button up against that wall there. Build wall. Uh, talk to Brett, the break tool. Fix the wall. Let's fix this guy. This guy should connect to that guy. Let's go like that. Typically it'll, it'll snap, but if it doesn't, you're close, it'll say, yeah, I got it. Now we're closing it. That, that helps us define and gives a, a room definition, because when we close four walls, becomes a room which has all sorts of other properties uh, which we won't go into in this video but we can when we when we close the stuff off it does become a room if we click on the inside of it you'll see that it now is shaded because it has a room and we can define what that room is let's say we make it a balcony. See what happens when we break in a balcony, the ceiling goes wrong. I don't want to show the label. And all of a sudden that ceiling will disappear because it is now a balcony open to the sky. The ceiling better disappear now. There it is. Gone. Just a balcony now. All right. Build. Wall. Uh, break wall. Fix wall. To find the wall types. So we can go here, 
there's all our different wall types. And it's very easy to uh, grab a wall. Like here, I grabbed interior four. Interior four is like that. Here, I switched it. Usually, cheap defaults to a yellow fill. I change it to a crosshatch fill. You just double click on that, and you can change your fills. Chief uses that, solid. And I like to do that for the plans because typically we print on black and white, and the little hatch comes out better in a black and white. All right, that's a quick overview. Thank you for checking out Chief Architect Workshop. Please remember to go to our YouTube channel, Chief Architect Workshop, and subscribe.